Driving in Palm Springs is like going back in time, from the architecture to the classic cars. This city has an old school vibe. Many of the homes were built in the middle of the 20th century, or patterned after that so-called mid-century modern aesthetic. Flat plains, open floor plans, and giant walls of glass that bring the outside in. Even the commercial buildings in downtown Palm Springs have that glow of an earlier era. The Chase Bank, City Hall, and the local Catholic Church. It's the mecca of modernism, absolutely. The mecca of modernism, you're looking at it, you're standing in it. Architecture guide Robert Imber has dedicated his adult life to helping Palm Springs celebrate its mid-century chic. So think Mad Men? Think Mad Men, absolutely. That whole country club scene, the whole Mad Men scene, the hair, the cigarettes, the, the glass ashtrays, the glass tables, the hanging lamp, all that swag was all mid-century. After World War II ended, a newly wealthy middle class began settling in this desert oasis and enlisted a number of modernist architects who had become stars of the genre. Richard Neutra, Albert Fry, William Cody. But it wasn't just cool homes and 85 degree weather that made this city a sexy destination back in the day. What gave Palm Springs its cool cachet were the Hollywood celebrities who flocked here in the 50s and 60s. With the movie studios just 100 miles away, stars like Cary Grant, Bob Hope, and Bing Crosby built homes here in the movie colony. Their neighbor, perhaps the most famous of them all, lived within these giant hedges the leader of the Rat Pack, Frank Sinatra. It's known as the Twin Palms Estate for the trees that tower above the pool. Sinatra lived here for a decade, during his first marriage to Nancy Barbado and his second to Ava Gardner. Architect E. Stuart Williams convinced Sinatra to build it in the modern style of the day. He designed the pool in the shape of a grand piano. And when the sun hits the openings in the veranda at the right angle, the shadows form piano keys on the pool sidewalk. He built this when he was just in his 30s, right? Absolutely, mid-30s, and for a, a young guy to, uh, to enter into such a venture back then was huge. David Monahan is the director of guest services at the estate, which can now be rented out for a cool $2,500 per night. It is no surprise that the home was designed for entertaining. Cocktails flowed as the music wafted across the pool. This looks like a pretty serious stereo. What is this exactly? This is the piece of all pieces. This is a, an original Valentino piece that uh, Capitol Records presented to uh, Sinatra back in the day. And it said that he could record onto vinyl and also transmit back to the uh, studios in Hollywood. Ever the ladies' man, Sinatra enjoyed a master suite that occupied a wing of the house. He was known to have a few companions <laughs> a few, in the bedroom. That's very delicate, Margaret, a few <laughs> companions. This is where the magic happened. <laughs> and if the walls could talk, Margaret, <laughs> we'd be deafened, I'm quite sure, right now. But uh, yes, he had a few companions. Um, I think the last social tabloids explosion uh, was about Ava Gardner. Um, he was uh, supposedly seeing and having an affair with Lorna Turner. His affairs reportedly led to an epic fight with Gardner, who managed to duck a flying champagne bottle so tossed at her by Sinatra. The damage is still evident. So a, a bottle itself f cracked this in three places here. And for an original sink to hold up that many years, well, it can only be show business. <laughs> Thanks to the cool factor, Palm Springs has undergone a renaissance in recent years. Over 70,000 people attended last year's annual Modernism Week. The young and hip now regularly descend on the city's boutique hotels. So that excitement, that fun, that partying, all of that stuff that is the Rat Pack and was Hollywood in those exuberant years was happening here and now quite revered here. And so we live in houses here that maintain that and respect that and relive it.